I guess I don't need to hold anything yet. So, hey everybody, it's Jamie. Today's video is very exciting. I'm doing a makeup review that I've already filmed before. I don't know what the clock was. It wasn't even a beat. Anyways, I recently got some cool stuff from Ulta. <laughs> I almost forgot where I got it from. And it is the Soph Makeup Revolution palette. I got the highlighter and the eyeshadow one. I'm very excited that Ulta had them because I really did not want to order them off of anybody else's website because I didn't want to pay shipping. So I got them off Ulta. <laughs> Um, but in this particular video, we're going to be going over the highlighter palette, and then in the next video, which I will probably be wearing the same thing and the same makeup and everything else, I'll be going over the eyeshadow palette. But I wanted to do the highlighter one first because highlighter is very exciting. I don't have the boxes for them anymore because, like I said, I filmed them once before. Maybe I'll insert some clips. I don't know. I just oh, wasn't happy with it, so we're filming it again. Um, but let's get started. Didn't mean to click it closed. Um, so we'll do some up close package shots. On the back, it doesn't, she doesn't have any color names for these. It's just kind of the plain Jane. I mean, you can see what colors they are, but sometimes people name them. Oh, that was a weird burp. This palette is $12.99 off of Ulta. You can get it in some stores. My particular store just didn't have it. Um, so I ordered it online because it was finally back in stock. Um, and I put it, I put, you know, I signed up for like the email alert and it came like a week after I bought this. So I was like, well, that wasn't very useful. I have used it a few times and I love it. I think it's great. I love the range of colors. I am typically a medium to medium light skin tone and I think all of these work very well. Some of them, like the darker pink shades, are definitely more of like a highlighter blush combo instead of just a pure highlighter, whereas the ones on this side are definitely pure highlighter for me. I love that they look like crushed velvet. It's just so beautiful. First of all, I mean, look at that. I just swirled my finger around and bam, sparkliness. Um, I am using like softbox lighting, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell um, any of them, like how beautiful they are. I'm just gonna swatch and then I'll show you. I love that purple one. That's the main reason I bought this palette was for for the for 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 the purple one because I've been wanting a purple highlighter and I just haven't found one that's actually purple. I did pick up a Makeup Revolution one, and it it wasn't purple. It, it's green. It's a green highlighter. It looks purple, like it would be purple. It's not. It's definitely green. Yeah, I swatched this in probably the most awkward place I could have swatched. So I hope you guys don't mind. But yeah, they're all pretty pigmented. Um, when I pick them up with a brush, like a lot comes with it. So you just have to like literally like boop and bam highlighter. They are very buildable, which I like. Um, because I hate when you can't build up on highlighter because sometimes I want a very subtle look and then other times I want the tops of my cheeks to be like BAM! Highlight. The ones on this side are the side with the lavenders and the deeper pinks and then this side is the more like natural side. And my hands are definitely darker than my face and they still show up beautifully. I have no clue if you guys are going to be able to see the shimmer on them or anything like that because soft boxes definitely need like a ring light or something. Um, yeah, you can see them. They're definitely pigmented. Like I said, some of the pinks are definitely more like a blush. Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I really like it. I think it's worth $12.99 if you want to experiment with different tones of pinks and purples and golds and more champagne-y kind of colors and I think it's good for a variety of skin tones. For me, since some of them are more like blushes, I think if you're any lighter than me they'll definitely be like a blush instead of just a highlight. Um, but they're definitely really good for below the brow bone and in the inner corners. 
Um, from what I noticed, they pretty much stay all day, which is really good because I have oily skin. I still think my Becca Champagne Pop one is better, but it's also more pricey and it's from Becca, so it better be dang good. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what else I can say about it. I think it's worth the $12.99. I'm going to be using it forever. Um, and I think it works well for skin tones. I used it a little bit on my mom the other day and it turned out really nice, really subtle. It's not too glittery, which I like. Some highlighters, I've noticed when I swatch them in the stores, it's definitely more glitter instead of shimmer and I definitely like the shimmer more. I mean, I'm all for glitter sometimes, but I'm covered in it from work most of the time, so I'd just rather not. Um, but yeah, so f totally gets a thumbs up from me. I'm very excited to keep using it and keep experimenting with it.